Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how the economy is going to rise in India in 2018 and what we can foresee uh, in this year. So there's a lot of scope, uh, the budget is around the corner, there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, in the uh, ecosystem right now how the budget is going to shape up in 2018 because that will decide the fate of how the companies will actually uh, enter India. Will the environment in India uh, be conducive enough uh, for investments? So there is scope. The recovery is in the economic growth and how the recovery would be in the economic growth. I have few suggestions in my mind which I like to discuss. We all know about China, the way China has evolved in filing patent applications. So they have a concept of 20 year patent application and a concept of 10 year patent application. The way I foresee and being a patent professional for last so many years, uh, I would suggest uh, that India should introduce the patent patent concept whereby the uh, patent grant is for the 10 year concept and when we talk about the 10 year concept, the examination process is quite easy or I would say it's not very stringent enough and it will actually generate more money uh, for the economy and more people would be filing patent applications. So what is the need of the R? When we say uh, elephant in the dragon's shadow, so the China stock market is 3.5 times of India. When we see a China market is 3.5 times of India, what is the reason? The reason is intellectual property rights, kind of technologies which are being generated and harnessed by the country. So the need of the R in India is to allocate more patent examiners in the patent office. So patent comes under the Ministry of Commerce. So it's a request to the Ministry of Commerce people or the officials to introduce this uh, new concept of uh, tenure patent application where the process should be easy and definitely when more people file patent application, the government is charging them a fee. So that is going to increase the GDP of the country. So India can't even ignore the corporate tax rates by US as suggested by uh, people across in India. All the uh, thought leaders are talking about it. And in US, uh, the corporate tax has been slashed from 35 to 25%. So this is another move which India needs to make and the move should be quick enough so that we are ahead of all other countries. Though India is providing a population of 1.3 billion, there are other parameters which need to be taken care of. First priority for the Indian government should be to boost innovations. When we talk about innovations, we have to give those innovative models uh, by which foreign company, the domestic companies, the domestic players, the universities can file more applications. There are so many universities in this country. Say for example, each university is actually filing 50 patent applications that can actually generate more than a lakh patent application by the year end and by 2019 we are going to see a rise. However, to provide that ecosystem, the 10-year concept of patent patents should come into picture and yes, anything which is creating a competitive market, we have such authorities, uh, CCI is there, then we have comp uh, competition laws uh, which are there to take care, like nobody has a monopoly. That is something which needs to be uh, taken care of. The balance uh, in intellectual property rights in India, we need to take care and the inflation growth mandate should be to make the ecosystem more conducive. So how the ecosystem can be more conducive is when actually any innovator is able to file a patent application, get a patent application granted in the shortest possible time, enjoy the benefits, grow, uh, grow like anything. Any company can grow like anything by the way of doing licensing. We are expecting 5G in India in the near future and when we talk about 5G, a lot of uh, devices would be connected through the use of uh, this telecommunication. However, when we talk about connections, though it will be connected, it has to be worked in a holistic view. A lot of cross-licensing deals would be uh, seen, in-licensing, out-licensing deals would be seen. A lot of merge and acquisition is going to take place. The concept of patty patent is the need of the R or anything which gives the innovator the incentive of even working and getting those patent granted. We are in shortage of patent examiners in India. We need to increase the number of patent examiners. We need to train the uh, current examiners. Current examiners are able to do justice to the uh, innovations which are being filed. So we should have an easy route and the route of 20 years. Uh, we hope to see uh, a lot of changes in the intellectual property law in India in the coming years. If you have any questions related to intellectual property law or how to generate uh, IP from your current portfolio, we'll be happy to assist. I'm Preeti Hasige, founder CEO of TCIS India. Put your questions in the comment box below and we'll get back to you. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.